Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Virtual Cass County Electric Annual Meeting Audit and Financial Report for the year 2019. For 2019, I'm pleased to report that Ide Bailey's audit of our financial statements uh, produced an unmodified opinion on the presentation of the financial statements, meaning that there was no audit adjustments and that the financial statements that were sent out to you were accurate and there were no material misstatements. In 2019, our balance sheet surpassed $285 million in total assets. That was an increase of $25 million over the prior year, or 10%. Uh, our liabilities increased 11%, or $17 million, while our equities were up 7% or $8 million. And at the end of 2019, total equity as a percent of assets was 41.3%. In 2019, our revenue surpassed $140 million for the first time in our company's history. That was an increase of 2.4% or $3.2 million. Total operating expenses were up 1.9% at $132 million and came in under budget for the year. Operating margin for the year was up 11% and came in at a record $7.5 million in total operating margin for 2019. Sales for 2019 uh, were up 10 million kilowatt hours or about 1% on the year. Uh, this was a reflection of the growth, continued growth in our member accounts. Uh, we added over 1,400 new homes, apartments, and commercial accounts for 2019. And it was the fourth year in a row of increasing kilowatt hour sales. Cost of operations for 2019, um, this graph shows what's called a distribution adder, which measures uh, the efficiency of your cooperative and also compares us to your peers, our peers. What it, it looks at is our total cost of operations exclusive of our cost of power. So what does it cost to operate Cass County Electric exclusive of cost of power? and then takes that total cost and divides it into our kilowatt hour sales for the year to come up with a cost per kilowatt hour of operations. And I'm very pleased to report that CAS had an excellent year in 2019. As you can see, we're about 2.2 cents a kilowatt hour cost to operate. This was one third below our peers, which is cooperatives in the United States of similar size, uh, one third less than our peers, that op and they operate at an average of 3.3 .3 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, how do we do this? How do we continue to operate below our peers when we have about the same amount of members? Um, we are very fortunate to be a growth cooperative, and leveraging that growth or taking advantage of that growth by managing our expenses, our labor, our benefits, our cost to operate, commensurate with that growth, in members and sales and revenue, making sure we don't get ahead of that, but measuring, but growing equal or less than that growth allows us to maintain a cost of operations that is very efficient. In addition to using technology to help uh, increase our efficiency and manage, also managing our debt, taking advantage of these very low interest rates we've had over the past uh, decade and by, through refinancing and timing of advancements allowed us to decrease our, our interest costs tremendously. Here's another example of, of efficiency where you can see going back uh, that the dark blue line is a measurement of our member accounts each year and the continued growth as you can see. Uh, but yet we are able to manage the cooperative uh, in 2019 with 93 full-time employees. And if you go back to the beginning of this graph in nine, in year 2000 we actually had more full-time employees in year 2000 um, yet our total member accounts in 2000 was about 22,000 uh, currently we have over 52,000 uh, accounts 
yet we have less employees, 93 full-time, two less than we did back in 2000. Again, that's a it's a function of you know reorganizing our company when we have retirements or, or terminations, um, using technology that we have today to, to be far more efficient than, than we were you know 20 years ago um, in managing that headcount. Um, again, com- managing the expenses commensurate with our growth is key. Finally, I'm very pleased to report uh, that your board of directors has approved a record five-year plan for paying capital credits. And in 2020, they approved an all-time record payout of capital credits of $2 million. It's the first time we've, we've been at that, at that level ever in the history of the cooperative. And continuing through 2024, um, we're looking at paying off Six years of capital credits over the next five years are almost $9 million of capital credit payments. So in summary, it was an excellent year for your cooperative um, with record capital credit payouts and continued stable rates. I hope you've enjoyed the financial report. Thank you.